This is an incredibly important milestone and a very exciting time for the project. In 2012, the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, launched Phyllis just outside of Westbourne Park. Three years later, we've completed 42 kilometres of tunnel. This is a world-class performance and everybody who's made up the team should be hugely proud of this milestone. If we continue to deliver Crossrail on time, within our following envelope, to do it safely and to deliver a world-class product, then not only UK but the rest of the world look in to understand how this can be repeated. The success of this will lead on to future opportunities for everybody in this industry. This is indeed a, a historic day, Victoria and all the other tunnel boring machines, those monumental mud munching motor mouths have done their job and three million tons of spoil is being taken now to create a wonderful new bird sanctuary in, in Essex and of course it's a huge triumph for London, it's a triumph for British engineering but above all it is a huge success for the whole of the UK economy because the overwhelming bulk of this work uh, creating 55,000 full-time jobs has been done not just by small and medium-sized companies but most of them folks have been outside London indeed outside the southeast and it's proved a triumphant success this feat boring 26 miles underneath the streets of London it ranks alongside the Channel Tunnel it ranks alongside the Great Western railway line it's an engineering triumph and everyone who's been involved should be hugely proud it's been a real privilege to follow this at every moment because it's infrastructure, investments like this, that will really help our economy in the long run. Never let it be said, as we stand here in this extraordinary tunnel with this great machine behind me, that Britain can't do big things. Great infrastructure will make a great country. This adds massively to London's transport infrastructure. It's a 10% increase of the rail infrastructure in London. But it's not just about London, it's about the whole of our country contributing to this great project. We know that we're only still 65% complete and that the tunnelling is a major milestone. But there's a lot of work still to do. And the planning that is now going on to fit out the stations and to create a new railway for London in the southeast continues.